Heading, Speedy Triumphant Climax. Subheading, The Gospel Once Shook the World. By the cooperation of the Divine Spirit, the apostles did a work that shook the world. To every nation was the gospel carried in a single generation. Glorious were the results that attended the ministry of the chosen apostles of Christ. Not in their own power did the apostles accomplish their mission, but in the power of the living God. Their work was not easy. The opening labors of the Christian church were attended by hardship and bitter grief. In their work, the disciples constantly encountered privation, calumny, and persecution. But they counted not their lives dear unto themselves and rejoiced that they were called to suffer for Christ. Irresolution, indecision, weakness of purpose found no place in their efforts. They were willing to spend and be spent. The consciousness of the responsibility resting on them purified and enriched their experience and the grace of heaven was revealed in the conquest they achieved for Christ. With the might of omnipotence, God worked through them to make the gospel triumphant. Acts of the Apostles, pages 593, 595, 1911. Subheading, A Firmament of Chosen Ones. Among earth's inhabitants, scattered in every land, there are those who have not bowed the knee to Baal. Like the stars of heaven which appear only at night, these faithful ones will shine forth when darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people. In heathen Africa, in the Catholic lands of Europe and of South America, in China, in India, in the islands of the sea, and in all the dark corners of the earth, God has in reserve a firmament of chosen ones that will yet shine forth amidst the darkness revealing clearly to an apostate world the transforming power of obedience to his law. Even now they are appearing in every nation, among every tongue and people, and in the hour of deepest apostasy when Satan's supreme effort is made to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive under penalty of death the sign of allegiance to a false rest day, these faithful ones blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, will shine as lights in the world. The darker the night, the more brilliantly they will shine. Prophets and Kings, pages 188, 189, 1916. Subheading, The Church Triumphant. The work is soon to close. The members of the church militant who have proved faithful will become the church triumphant. Letter 32, 1892. And still our general, who never makes a mistake, says to us, Advance, enter new territory, lift the standard in every land. Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. The time has come when through God's messengers the scroll is being unrolled to the world. The truth contained in the first, second, and third angel's messages must go to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. It must lighten the darkness of every continent and extend to the islands of the sea. There must be no delay in this work. Our watchword is to be onward, ever onward. Angels of heaven will go before us to prepare the way. Our burden for the regions beyond can never be laid down till the whole earth is lightened with the glory of the Lord. Gospel Workers, page 470, 1915.